Greetings, Bansakram Music here. Today I thought I would bring you a sound design tutorial. It's a sine bass swell that sounds something like this. This can be a quite a useful sound. It's used in multiple genres. It's certainly used in trance, cinematic, and even modern day EDM. So it's a really useful sound actually. Okay, so let's start as we always do, um, from scratch. And by the way, if you're into VPS Avenger and you want more tips and sound design tutorials, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also like the video. Okay, let's start as we always do from scratch. Right click on the memory button here and choose initialize. And then yes, this is the sound. Okay, we don't actually need to make too many alterations in the oscillator window here, but it would be good to change the wave type from a saw to a sine wave. Just a pure waveform there. Now some of the crucial changes are to be made here in the amp window. First of all, I take down the velocity sensitivity. So no matter how hard I press a particular key, I get the same volume of sound. Changing the attack to about nine o'clock here. Increasing the hold all the way up. A bit of a slower decay. Not much sustain at all on this one. And a pretty quick release. So now we have this sound. Let's increase the reverb and the delay so the sound has got a bit of a tail to it. So the real trick to this sound is to modulate the frequency to create that swell sound. Let's just try that manually. Let's create a mod envelope to do that. Let's go down to mod env1. Okay, so over the course of two bars, we're going to increase this, the FM modulation, to just below halfway point, I think is a good sweet spot. Let's click and drag the six dots over to the FM knob here and release. And let's just increase it here to just below halfway. Let's hear that. And then you want to alter the envelope down so that it goes back to zero pretty quickly. Let's listen to that. So we can hear we're getting pretty close to our final sound. You can actually change the sound and make it more gritty and more interesting. Um, not just by using a, um, a sine wave to modulate another sine wave, but a different wave as well. What we're going to do is we're going to add a second oscillator. We're going to search. We're going to search for another type of sine wave, actually. And it's more interesting if it's a kind of a wave table that we can search through. Let's try this one. Sine sweep band. Let's choose that. And then go back to oscillator one and choose here Oscillator 2 to modulate this. And you can hear that's slightly more of an interesting sound. But how fast we scan through this wavetable can make a big difference to the sound. And also, where we start scanning the wavetable can make a difference too. So let's start from silence at the other end, the right hand side, and then work into the wave. And let's turn the speed down to about halfway there. And let's hear that. That's a lot better. Sometimes a sound like this needs to punch through the mix a little bit more than it is at the moment. So how can we help that? How can we add some grit to this sound so people can really hear it? You normally add grit by adding saturation or distortion. So that's improved it a bit there. I do like to add sometimes a, um, a wave shaper, for example. That makes it a bit more in your face. You can also add um, a bit crusher as well. Take the bits down. A bit more edgy. Wave shape, uh, multiband distortion is also a very good one. Turn the mix down a bit. So as well as adding effects to the effects rack here, to make it sound more gritty, you could also tweak some of these knobs here. 
modulate some of these. Let's try that. Add a second mod envelope over the course of two bars. Let's tie it to, for example, X side. Um, start and position just a little bit off. Going back down to zero. Let's try that. So try the format. Has added a touch more grit to the sound there. Okay, I would certainly experiment with this second oscillator by putting different types of sign on there. Um, let's try a different one. Sign kicker. It's a sound sign valve one as well. Let's try that. Okay, it's got a lot more edge to it, that, hasn't it, that sound? And if you don't like too much of the edginess and high frequencies, you can, of course, take the cutoff filler right down. Of course, do experiment with the second oscillator, adding different kinds of wavetables to it. For example, I kind of like this uh, acid rubber one here. Let's listen to what kind of effect this has on the sine wave. Okay, if you think that modulation is a bit too extreme, you can take down the uh, mod envelope amount here. The actual amount that it's modulating the sine wave. You can also get quite creative with this. For example, right click and copy this oscillator. Create a new oscillator, paste it in. And then tie this one to the step sequencer. And that gives it a feeling almost like a vibrato feeling to it. So anyway, it's up to you now to get creative with the second oscillator here, trying different sounds from different wavetables on it to see what kind of bass swell that you can create. You can download this bass swell preset, which I've just made. The link is in the description of this video. If you want to stay notified of any more sound design tutorials for VPS Avenger, do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stay well. Mm -hmm.